What is going on, everybody? It is the Misfit Bear, and welcome back to Near Replicate. Just, just listen, man. The soundtrack in this game, it was created by the gods. We are in the Forest of Myth. We're looking for the different stone slabs of each area. And I got that defense capsule. I'm gonna come over here and break this box. Get some antidote weed. Cure all my ailments. Ailments. And we're gonna talk to uh, Grish Yeager again. Well, no. Never mind. You're Zeke Yeager. Oh, hello. How are things? Hmm? You wanna know if anything unusual is happening? Yeah, again. Well. I have been feeling a rather strange presence whenever I visit the Divine Tree. Remember how I think in one of Yona's little diary entries, she talked about being given a book about a big tree? The Divine Tree? It's a legendary tree that exists in the heart of our village. Did you investigate the cause of this presence? Not really, no. And why not? Well... You're not really supposed to go near the tree, except for prey. Understandable. <sighs> and why is that? I don't know. It's just how things have always been. Tradition? Weird. Well, that doesn't mean I can't go near it. But while I'm at it, I'm gonna go through and get all of the things. Medicinal herb. It's a fucking string on my uh, sleeve. And I thought something was crawling on me. Don't you hate that feeling? Like, when something's possible. Okay? Hmm. Why do we seem to encounter nothing but odd people lately? Is this the Great Deku Tree? You should talk, Vice. <laughs> As if Grimoire Vice is capable of spouting such nonsense. Hang on. I don't think it's done. The Dark it My bad. You got it, bruh. Does that mean it'll tell us what we want to know? That'd be nice. For once. Am I going to have to go through another reading? Yep, I sure am. Oh, man. Black. Pure darkness, painted over everything. Words, scattered here and there across the blackness. Kind words, difficult words, amorous words, all sparkling in the dark like jewels. The words were few now, but time was shorter. Grabbing the words in desperation, apparently Knockout City was updated, the tree turned to the sky. This is wrong whispered the tree in the voice of wind through the leaves. This is not how it was supposed to be. The plan has failed. Once, long ago, the tree had remembered everything about the world. This was its task, its function, its purpose. It shivered with something approaching joy as it collected the memories of mankind. This was no accident. Emotions were as much a part of the tree as root and bark. Memories collected like dew on the thick green leaves of the tree. And once they had formed a web that spanned the entire world, words collapsed into sunlight before passing through the leaves and into the pool of memories. From the pool, the words joined together to form colonies. The colonies united into world pools of light, and the light coalesced into stars. Each star was like a child of the tree, and it loved them all. Look at my memory. A child is here, brought low by disease. He is far too young to have suffered so. Thin beyond words, the boy's skin is a shade paler than the bleached sheets upon which he lies. His parents no longer visit him, for they cannot bear to watch him suffer. The doctors have long since surrendered his fate to the gods. The boy too has abandoned hope, strange emotions, weariness, hatred swell within the dark recesses of his young heart. He tries to reject the black terror that germinates in his body, but no amount of effort or tears can drive the invader away. 
He has long ceased to resent his parents and doctors. Once he did, but now his pain is so great that there is little room in his heart to think of others. <clears throat> Only one person brings the boy comfort, a healthy young girl with tan skin and deep brown eyes. She is a beacon of brightness and light in the boy's world. Her very presence is a comfort to him, but he is unable to look upon her face. Whenever they meet, the boy is filled with loathing for his own state. Soon, this loathing eats away at what joy he receives from the girl's visits. The girl will stop coming, he knows this. His every waking moment is spent in fear of this day. He thinks that if he could talk to her, if he could tell her of his feelings, this might not be so, but this conversation never happens. The girl disappears. The boy dies alone. The tree scoops up his memory and carefully stores it within itself. Etched upon it is a single word, envy. Look at my memory. There is a female warrior. Her greatest enemy is a beast with red eyes that she cannot fully comprehend. When she strikes it with her sword, it turns into a pillar of salt and dies. But when the white smoke clears, a new enemy rises. And another, and another, the warrior knows that her struggle is folly, but fighting the unending stream of enemies fills her with a sense of joy and purpose. Somewhere deep in the warrior's drug-addled mind lies a vague memory of a daughter. Perhaps the child exists only in her head, the dying remnants of a powerful dream she does not know. Her friends and fellow warriors come and go, some flee in terror. Some are eaten. She began the fight with 23 companions, but most are gone now. The warrior's body shudders. She does not understand why at first. By the time she hears the fierce, low sound, the arena is already enclosed in darkness. Looking up, the warrior sees a beast so large that it blots out the sky. She is laughing. She has been doing so for as long as she can remember. Covered in blood and dirt, the warrior laughs. She laughs and laughs until the town that contains her daughter collapses into a pile of dust. This memory has been stored for a long time. It is etched with a single word, loss. Look at my memory. A red dragon falls from the heavens. Ah, that memory has been lost. A shame. It was a favorite of mine. After many centuries of existence, the tree saw that its carefully labeled memories were beginning to dwindle. Once seemingly infinite, the memories now seemed ready to disappear forever. The tree did not feel sadness at this. Grief was an emotion beyond its comprehension. It did, however, have the distinct feeling that something was missing. The mountain of memories it had so carefully assembled had disappeared. The tree stretched its branches as far as it could but new memories refused to flow. The pool of memories was a black, empty pit, a hollow place where life had once flourished. The tree had lost its purpose. There was nothing to be done but sift through the few remaining memories littering the ground under its branches. This is why the tree was pleased when the young man and his companion entered the room. Well, this place is gloomy as hell. The room I entered was almost completely empty. All I could see were a few crystals scattered haphazardly on the ground. Picking up one of the crystals and peering into it, I suddenly saw a familiar sight. It was the Forest of Myth, its villagers, prisoners of their own dreams. I apologize, the tree thought. That is all that remains. As I stared at the jewel, bewildered, a voice suddenly called out from the depths of his mind. The voice implored them to listen. It was an order. Following it was mandatory. Abruptly, the pair realized that they must listen. They must listen. Look there. A small, shadowy presence appeared from beneath the floor. It appeared to be a shade, 
The shade grasped several jewels in its hand. More jewels tumbled out of its mouth like shards of broken teeth, sights and sounds tinkling from each one before vanishing forever. The creature was abusing the memories, treating the precious objects like a collection of cheap playroom toys. The shade appears to be consuming the memories. These things eat memories? The tree extended a branch toward I. With a second thought, I brought his blade down on the shade. Ha! Tearing its stomach wide. Jewels burst from the shade and poured across the chamber floor. Look, thought the tree. There is the conviction memory I had lost, and satisfaction, and many others as well. Yes, this is good. The tree opened its mouth and attempted to speak, but no sound emerged. A millennium of silence and solitude had caused the tree to forget certain things, but rather than be upset, it greeted the development with good cheer. Focusing all its power on the riddle of speech, a tree, the tree formed a kind of makeshift vocal cord and tried again. <clears throat> I, I implore, <clears throat> it spat out a glimmering green jewel. Hmm. One more time, I implore you, there we are. What was the color of the lost envy? Ooh, um. The color of the lost envy. I'm gonna say brown? It spoke. This shade has intelligence and emotion. Who cares? Brushed Vice's comments aside as his sword sliced through the shade's right arm. The shade extended its remaining arm. I must touch him. I must make contact. The moment its fingers brushed against me, the tree felt a warm sensation began to burn. Something hot coursed through its fingers, up its arm, and out to its entire body. It was emotion. More than the entity had felt in centuries, the tree cried out in surprise and joy. One thousand years alone. One thousand years in quiet contemplation. The tree felt like it was going to break apart. For long centuries, the tree had been alone, its heart sealed with heavy chains, but no more. New, powerful emotions began to take hold, causing its heart to lighten. This was more than the simple emotions it had been designed to feel. It was the beginning of a soul, and the young man was the key. This was the promise made long ago. This was how it would be released. The tree's stomach began to throb in pain, a new and unpleasant sensation. But the time was not yet right. I implore you, how many were lost by the warrior who fought the red-eyed beasts? Her daughter and 23 friends. Okay, riddle time is over. I'm gonna kill this stupid shade once and for all. Something round and shiny fell from the open stomach and clattered to the floor. The key, cried the book. Secure the key. The man's sword slowed. Time began to dilate around them, stretching and slowing. Time is essential. The next word must be heard. The words exploded. It became difficult to discern their meaning. The pool of memories began to crack as infinite blackness burrowed its way into the wall. This world is falling apart. How can a world of letters, I implore, most important thing, world. Yona. The light was complete. The memories disappeared. The tree's identity began to dissolve. As the letters slowly faded, I was drawn back to the real world, and the tree was satisfied. Sorry for my grammar mistake. What in the... I never realized <laughs> shades were capable of rational thought. Yeah. I don't care if they can tap dance and play the fiddle. They all gonna die. I just want to kill them without all this hassle. With the tree defeated, we no longer have to worry about being buried in its world of letters. Unless, of course, time itself begins to rewind. Memory tree, key fragment. Yep, that's all we had to do. All we had to do was, uh, have another story time. I stopped on my own. Well, what's next? Check to see if a letter's arrived from the younger brother. Let's see if the junk heap kid sent us a letter. 
Would I be able to do that here or at home? Obviously, I do it at home. There. Your weapon is ready to go. Thank you. Great. Thanks. Iron will. You know, with a weapon like that... I could destroy some machines, right? You were going to say? I need to ask you for a favor. Oh, yeah? I want you to avenge my brother. That is a rather ponderous favor. It's my mission. It's the whole reason I've been creating these weapons for the past four years. Yeah. I don't care about money. I only care about making a weapon strong enough to kill those bastards. I cannot imagine what that's been like. Which bastards? The ones in the mountain. That little Shade and his robot. A Shade has joined forces with a robot? Yeah. There's a Shade in there? Yes. <sighs> Say less, fam. And what have we decided? <laughs> Say less. We're gonna kill it. Say less. All you had to do was say the word shade. And my dude was already convinced. Back on the trolley. Let's uh go ahead and have this waiting in the wings. Because Dark Whirlwind is best power. Can't tell me otherwise. Yep, here we go. I mean, just... Just look at this. Just look at it. It's beautiful. It's absolutely beautiful. Yep. Now let's go two. Just so we can, uh, woo, hey there. Yeah, y'all can't touch me, can y'all? <laughs> y'all cannot touch this. Now let's go ahead and ow, ow. Stop that, stop that. And I got a level out of it too. I was trying to get all four back up, but I didn't have the opportunity. But it's all good, though. It is all good, though. I made it through. At least I hope that this is the direction I had to go. Hi, Kane. It is. It is. Nice. Yeah, well, have I been through here? I don't recognize it. I might have. I do remember this guy. Weren't you like really susceptible to magic? Yeah, you were. Oh. Ow. Yeah, not getting anywhere near that. You can... You can just... No, you can just die with that one. Man, this weapon is so slow! I mean, there are certain things you can do, like roll, and that first attack right there is, like, where it's at. But outside of that, man, good lord. Ugh. Yep. Nope. There we go. I'm also trying to pay attention to what I'm picking up from them because despite it being incredibly freaking heavy, I am contemplating like upgrading this thing. Like heavily contemplating it. Just because of the power output that it's going to get. Oh yeah, perfect room for this. Yep, all I gotta do is jump and you all die. Woo! 
I'll give you two. Well, there we go. <laughs> Yep. Yep. I go from one side of the room to the next side of the room. There we go. So many things. What'd I get? What'd you get me? With so so many things. So many things. And then you also have to take into consideration that there are items that are yellow. I think the memory alloy was yellow. So I don't know if any of the items I need for any of the weapons because, as you saw, I have a buttload of weapons, but I could only upgrade like four of them. Okay, so no, I'm down where, uh, where I fought that one thing, right? Yeah, I'm, I'm back in here. I don't think I was supposed to go this way. But maybe. I don't know. If there were to be a boss battle, this would be the perfect place for it to be. Is up here. So we can I've just... I've never heard of a machine okay. living with a machine. So, possibly. What's that about? Because this is new dialogue. Don't know, don't care. All that matters is that we kill them both. Am I able to, like, get back up there? Okay, so we're going further. No, we're going back to 1F. I literally made a full circle again. God bless it. It seems we have found the entrance to our robot friend's hideout. Never mind. Right. Let's head down. Are you mad? We've no idea what lies below. Never mind. It's going the long way around. Come on. Okay. Alrighty. I am uh, thankful. No. Save. Thank you. I am thankful that I was not going in circles. <laughs> Whee! There we go. This was the robot that was there whenever uh, Gideon gave his brother a, a, a hand. You know? What's up, you little bastard? Yep. Yep. Detected. Scanning. Scanning. Extremely. Man! <laughs> if there were guns Looks in like this it. game, I would have considered that four blades. Intruder detected. Scanning. Woo! Scanning. Extremely. Let's see how well you handle the, the business. Man! Aim for the legs! Knock it down! Good. Take out the shade! Wait, which one do y'all want me to do? Do you want me to take out the shade or take him out of the knees? Which one? Y'all gotta make up y'all's mind! Exterminating. Aim. 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 Uh, I think Must you need to take him in for maintenance. My mission. And what mission is that? It's a shade. It's a shade! So the whole robot is a shade. Okay. Hey, that just makes, you know, what I'm about to do that much easier. Woo! See, I, I can rock with this weapon if I can get in. Whoa! If I can get in close enough. And this dodging, that dodging definitely helped me there. Did y'all see that? Hold that thought. I don't want to use that right now. Yes, sir. Ooh, I've got so much magic. I get whatever damage in I can. 
There we go, baby. Phase two? Phase two already? Come on, playa! Oh, great. I had just got done with Heisenberg not too long ago, and now I get to ha get haunted by this again. Wings! Of all things, it got wings! Exterminating. Wings made of metal! How? How does that work? How exactly does that work? This thing can transform? Apparently! How? This defy this defies so much! Watch for falling debris! Look out! I can hold this! Escape! I'll Escape. wait until you get down Escape. here! Escape! You know what? I'm gonna stand right here! Go! See the world! Go! Go! Go see the world! Must. Don't stand Attack. right here! Must! Fight! Wait in slow motion! What? <laughs> oh, I lost the, uh, I lost the spell! <laughs> Nah, it was moving in slow motion. Where it was gonna take going? forever anyways. Yeah, you're not going nowhere. But down to the depth. Down to the depth. The bowels of the abyss. Come on then. Woo! That actually didn't hurt all that bad. Can face the majesty of grimoire vice. I can't Damn right. concentrate with all this bullshit fancy talk. <laughs> Yeah, you gotta have that battle focus. Swat him down! I'm getting killed here! Well, I'm working on it! That's the only ranged option I got! Emil? Uh, you got more ranged options than me! Woo! 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 Alright, come on, a little bit closer. A little bit closer. Ah! Whoa! My ass almost went over! So I cannot block against it. I thought I'd try. Yep. I did not realize he's almost dead. I did not even realize. Yep. Sit down. Get down. Get down. Crashing into the roof again? Come on, playa. Whoa, the debris's falling faster. Woo! You know the strats. Just pull a circle. <laughs> Just pull a circle. And you're all right. Ah, wrong one. Oh, he's just breaking apart. There we go, baby. Ugh. Come on, give me the chance to get rid of him. Oh, shades are coming out. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> one shot, one kill. <laughs> oh, shit. Damn. Damn. I almost got that with one swing. Yeah. Get some! Dark Phantasm! Must defend my mission. And that's the craziest thing. Like, this is how it was in Nier Automata. You like, things, you know, having consciousness and awareness to the point where it just makes you sad. You stupid machine! You killed my family! You took everything from me! Come on, hey, player. come on. That's enough. It's already dead. <laughs> I did it! Now that this goddamn thing is dead, 
I can forage wherever I want! Just wait, you goddamn freak! Now I can make all kinds of powerful weapons! Yeah, needless to say, what happened definitely broke him. Just leave it to me! Leave it all to me! <laughs> that voice actor, whoever you are, you need a raise. Look, we get it, okay? Really? Yeah, we, we kind of get it. Notice how you have a metal arm and you're hitting him with the arm that you got left. That's how you know he's crazy. Hatred and madness will never heal a wounded heart. Maybe it's just all he's capable of right now. I'm sure it's all that's kept him going. I mean, four years? He was maybe... 10. 11 years old at the most. Maybe 12. Imagine... living with that. That's, that's rough, man. Revenge is a fool's errand. Yeah. I know. Law of Robotics. Oh, man. And then they gotta play the sad music and everything. Getting me all emotional on the inside. There's that rat. Wonder if we can go talk to him. I don't have a, uh, a cursor on the screen. Oh, he's not even in here. He's not even in there. Maybe Popol has found some information about the Shadow Lord. Let's drop by the village. Yep. Very well. Let's do that. What's up, home girl? Learned anything new about the Shadow Lord's key, Popola? You know, I was just going to talk to you about that. Good, because I was just coming to ask. You remember the Airy, right? Yep. That depressing shell of a village? That we never saw anybody in, mind you. They were all in their houses. Not so much anymore, it sounds like. Really? I just got this letter from the village chief. Have a look. From the office of the chief of the Airy to Popola, my greetings to you and your village. I hope everything is going well. Our village has shut itself away from the world for far too many years, and we have therefore decided it is time to change our ways. As part of this endeavor, we have resolved to establish a shop within the village. It is now open for business, and I look forward to seeing a great many customers visit from all over the world. With regards to the sacrifice keyword you wrote about, one of our villagers claimed to know the meaning behind the term. You are more than welcome to speak with him on the matter as part of your visit to the Airy. I hope to hear from you again soon. Sacrifice? Isn't that the name of one of the key fragments? Yep. That's right. I've been trading notes with leaders from every town in the land. That is a smart way of You're going about amazing, doing it. Popola. Hmm. This entire affair strikes me as a bit too convenient. I'm afraid Grimoire Vice is correct. What do you mean? <sighs> uh. The Airy has been shut off from the world for years. And now they've not only opened trade routes, but they freely exchange information about the Shadow Lord. Right? I agree. It seems rather unnatural. And dangerous. Dangerous is my middle name. You're overthinking it. Besides, I don't care if it's dangerous. Yeah. I won't get Yona back by just sitting around and waiting. We really won't! There are shades there. I'll just kill him and be done with it. Oh dear. Yeah. Well, if that's the way you feel, I guess I won't stop you. Try speaking with the chief when you get there. Popola. I understand you, the homie and everything. But I'm grown, okay? You couldn't stop me even if you wanted to. And mind you, he said years. They've been closed off for far too many years. Can you imagine just being a recluse? For years? Like, they didn't even respect Kaine and me for defending their daggum village. They were like, she's a shade. She needs to leave. I'm like, I can understand where you're coming from, but still. I mean, if they can do the same thing for Aaron Yeager, they can do the same thing for freaking Kaine. I mean, come on now. <laughs> but I mean, that's just me, though. 
People are different. People are not like you and I. They don't have access to save points. Here we are back again, Clay. In the airy, this city in the sky, village in the sky, gloomy, that's the pike that the shade was promptly slam dunked on. And do we have to go to the uh, mayor's house? Like the only bronze slash gold house in the entire village? At least there aren't any shades here. Which is a good thing. Yep, we have to go here. I thought so. Hello, Mayor! Open uh, the door! Hello? We're here from Popola's village. It's all over. What? We came to ask about the letter you sent. Our days are numbered. Our village is doomed. Where's the shop at? Did you see a shop when we got here? As cheerful as ever, it seemed. Did you see a shop when we got here? You wrote the letter, right? I... I don't know about any letter. What the hell is going on here? Yeah. It may be faster for us to take our inquiries elsewhere. Yeah, it may be faster for us to Let just us leave. <laughs> One must know something. I don't know, man. If there anything like him, I doubt it. But I guess, you know... Oh, so there is a shop there. Okay. My bad. This village is finished. But why is... Why are people saying I'm that? Scared. Make it stop. The Shadow Lord definitely had to have influenced this place somehow. At least we could just drop down. Yeah, who needs that ladder? Shut up. Shut up. He's hearing voices. Stay away. Get back. He's seeing things. There's no point in living anymore. He's he's gave up. If Give it up. Shade, then prove it. Why don't you step out that door and look at my non-shaded face? Do you have weapons? My weapons may not be the latest and greatest, but my soul. Alright, well let's see what you got. Beast Bane, Faith. Very light. Axe of Beheading. Sunrise. Spear point. Not anything that I would use and nothing stronger than what I got. The Axe of Beheading is one. A man's dementia drove him to attack his daughter's fiance. Why would I want to use that Thanks. weapon? Its backstory is already bad enough. A letter, huh? Dang, dude. Yeah. I think I heard something about that. So, you know about the letter? Yeah. Hmm. Maybe I don't. I'm not sure. Are people losing their memories while Emil is just floating around? Emil! Calm down, playa! <sighs> Which is it, man? Oh, uh, and if I may ask, are you friends of Kaine? You could say that. Ah, I've heard the rumors. Here to hunt shades, are you? Indeed. Our aim is to defeat every last one. Every. Every last one? Yep. Everyone. Everyone. They're all shades. They're all shades. Boys! Beware. This man is a shade. They're all shades. It's a trap. I yep. figured as much. Of course it was. Well, maybe not all of them are shades, but enough of them. You guys sure are taking your goddamn time. Are shades. A thousand apologies. We were distracted by the local Excuse you? Party. Excuse you! Kaine, the villagers are possessed! But not all of them. Some oh. are still human, so be Okay, no. No, come on, come on. Yeah. Come on. All right, no, you got bitch me. Let's go. Get out of here. Sit the fuck down! Yo, Beze, don't make me stab you! Sit down! Sis! 
sorry, I mean, they had to go. I'm sorry. Yeah, just stay in the line for me. Nothing, I'm taking care of business. Don't worry about it. Where are you going? Why can't I knock these shades off of this bridge? Or off of anything? Yo, know, do I have to get rid of everything in here? What's my mission right now? Defeat the shades? Maybe I'll leave the humans alone. I don't know if I'm like doing something oh I shouldn't be. We are shades! Yep. No, it's all good. It is all good. I will free y'all. Even if I have to free you from your mortal coil. Don't worry about it. I got you. Alright, Johnny Cage. Straighten up. Why are you here? Everything was fine until you showed up. Right. <laughs> Y'all seem pretty able-bodied. Not gonna lie. No way. I'm not gonna abandon my own sister. Kanye, what's going on? Don't be fooled by this lady. She's a shade. <laughs> All I gotta say is with Kanye's strength, that lady held on. Like, no. she held her own. No! But I don't know if she was a shade or not. You people are the monsters here! Stay back, kid. Your sister is one of them now. I don't are you care sure? what she is. She's my sister, and I love her. She is. She is. I didn't remember if she was or wasn't. Ow! How are you gonna drop your guard like that, Kaine? Like, for real, though. Like, for real, though. Stop it! Don't hurt my sister! What madness. These people are behaving yep. as if we are the villains. Of course Hi. they are. That's what Kill they've them. been doing. Kill them now! That's what they've no, been doing. You've got to stop this. We're trying to save you from the shades. Please, you have to stop. Emil. We need to get out of here. Kaine, Kaine, get up. Hurry. Yeah, we are going to get overran. Stop this at once. Leave us in peace. Never. I will murder you all. It's what I do. Like, I'm literally gonna stand here and just murk them all. You think I'm gonna pass up on all this XP? You got me fucked up. You got me fucked up. <laughs> I am gonna do what I do best. Ooh. Villagers are under attack over there. Alrighty. So we can't leave. Please, I beg of you. No, just stay out of the way and you won't have to worry about it. What could those black swirls be? I can only imagine. Wait, hold on. I think I might actually remember what it is. Isn't it like a really big eye? Isn't it like a really big eye? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, hey. Big fella's armored now. That's what we've been trying to tell y'all. But no, you said we were the monsters. But it's all right though. I'm gonna show you who the monster is oh, after down. I get rid of Big Fella. Get off me, Big Fella. Ooh. Yep. I missed. Nope. Ow. Man, did you see how little damage he did to me? Well, technically you couldn't because my uh, head's in the way. <laughs> this will finish you off. This will finish you off. This village is history. 
Just like that. Have a seat. What's happening? Oh, it was a teardrop thing, and something's in it. Wait, was I right? It was a big eye! I remembered! I'm hey! Agent. Is this beast a shade <laughs> as well? I remembered! I sucked up the villagers. Ah, and replaced no. them with shade. We keep this up! We're gonna kill them all! We can't let that happen! Yeah, it took the villagers and then, like, replicated their appearances on Shane. Well, you know what we gotta do, Emil. Something from within the creature. I need to get my magic back up. Woo! Now we're just gonna stand right here. Not right there. It will take Ooh. more than a barrage of magic to stop us. The Ooh. first to waver is the first to die. Man! Oh, there we go. I sense magic coming from the center of that eye. That's where we just got shot from, Vice. Really? Because one of the little things went in front of it? So I can't get close Wait, to it. I think those are actual people. Hold nothing back. Those are shades. All right. We got this. I just got to stand here and just wait. The surrounding tentacles appear to deflect magic. Clearly. Clearly. Hold on, hold on. I don't need a... Uh dark whirlwind for this fight. I need constant damage. There we go. Ow. Ow. Woo! Woo! There we go. There we go. Here we go. Slowly but surely, I gotta get a good dark blast go or a, or a dark lance. Like I have to get a really good one in order to get some real damage going. Do I have uh yes, I have some magic drop. So as soon as my magic is up, I'm gonna pop one of those and then uh give it to him. Did, did I actually get that? Or did I, I, was I not just looking at the damage bar? Because I don't really, I don't really think any damage got chipped off of that thing. Whoa! Such speed. Whoa! Wait a minute! Sit down. Sit down. Whoa! I can't hit you while you're all the way up there. I could still do that at least. Woo! Defeating the small yep. enemies has no effect on the leader. Don't worry about it. I'm using it to get my magic up. Now, focus there your we go. On the beast center. We got this. Dark blast for the wind. There we go. Woo! You know I stay coming with the hand.
There we go. Good stuff, Emil. Look out! Something's coming! Wow! Wow! Oh it's my god! Around the back. Try okay. It from above. Yep. Let's do a help now. This so far is my my best thing that I have. To get Here we go. He's escaping to the inner level. I'm coming. Gotta catch my breath. Careful. The meal is wore out. Help anyone if we lose you here. Yep, the meal is wore out. To the inner level, huh? There we go. There he is. Who would have thought that a really that big thing. eye How can it still move? could be worse Some than a freaking beyond even my greatest suspicion. four legs and a tail? I gotta wait for those things to move out of the way. They'll repel my spell. Right there. There we go. Go ahead. Let me refill my magic back up. Again. Woo! Yes, sir. Sit down. Believe it or not, the whole shockwave can actually... Whoa! Woo! Here we go. There we go. Freaking die already. Freaking die already. I'm on it. I'm right here with you, fam. Right here with you, fam. Oh, we got the full ring of uh, lances this time. Straight out of an anime, man. Yes, sir. Yes. Shh. I remember that little detail. Observe to slow the progress of white chlorination. No unusual reading seen in subject. Send reports directly to cabinet command room. Emil. Emil, wait! Emil! He's gone. His instincts have taken hold. The ultimate weapon is being deployed. Look at this, man. Look at this crap, man. The ultimate weapon. The ultimate weapon. Created by man. The Eerie is gone. 
The Eyrie is wiped out. What have I done? Those people, gone. They killed innocent people. They're all I gone. But you saved us. If it wasn't for you, I'd all be dead. We owe you. You gotta find some truth, even in the shittiest of situations. It's just a crater now. Sacrifice. We had best be off. That yeah. we should. Well, I'ma save my game real quick. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna call this episode here. I mean, just look, man. It is 100% gone. That is crazy. Oh, man. The ultimate weapon created by scientists. Complete destruction left in its wake but it's Emil he's still the homie I hope you guys enjoyed the episode if you did why not leave the video a like let me know what you think down in the comments below and if you haven't already why not consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more of this mayhem until next time I appreciate all of you for watching like and subscribe for more, for I will continue to make these videos for many moons. Stay safe out there, and never forget to holla at your bear. Peace out.